Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice a little more cloud cover right now in places like Mountain Lake, Parisburg, even areas say towards Bland, rural retreat, Withville, seeing a couple more clouds than what you had out there just 60 to 90 minutes ago. Clouds are going to stream in for us here this evening, but the chance for precipitation is pretty low. Cannot rule out a few rain showers towards the highlands, maybe even a couple of snowflakes mixing in as well. Already starting to see that out across parts of Greenbrier and Pocahontas counties in West Virginia. So as we head, say, towards 10 o'clock, notice a green blob or two showing up towards the southern Shenandoah or towards the highlands. Again, I stress to you, a stray shower or two is possible for us overnight tonight, but most of us are dry. OK, as we look at Thursday, this is 7 a.m. Notice that we're still going to have some leftover clouds around in the mountains, while farther to the east towards Lynchburg and south side, you're going to be mostly sunny from sunup until sundown. Even if you awaken to clouds, say towards the highlands and NRV tomorrow morning by around noon or one, you're going to break out in more sunshine. Tomorrow is dry. Tomorrow night skies are fair and Friday will be another beauty. We're going to have, I think, more sunshine than cloud cover as we end the work week. In addition to that, Friday's going to be one of the warmer days we've had in quite some time. And then we turn our attention to the weekend. <laughs> it's always the weekend, right? Well, we're keeping an eye on Super Bowl Sunday, maybe even late Saturday night into Super Bowl Sunday. Our next storm system is driven by upper level wind. It's likely not going to be a major winter storm for us, and it is a little too soon for exact information as to how much snow we're going to see. But the computer models are coming into slightly better agreement. Of course, we have some outliers. One outlier is bringing us several inches of snow, but I think, again, that would be like this coming together absolutely perfectly, and most computer models are saying that won't happen. But an inch or two of snow cannot be ruled out in some of our backyards as we head perhaps into Sunday. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned to your local weather authority. 59 right now in Roanoke, 56 in Lynchburg, also into Danville, upper 40s in Hillsville and Galax. So the upper air pattern through Saturday is such that the jet stream is retreating to the north, and that means high temperatures reach the 50s, even some 60s, and limited precipitation threats for us here as we head into Friday, even into at least uh, most of the day on Saturday. By late Saturday, you start to see a few showers pushing in, but I think from now really until Saturday afternoon, the chance for precipitation is pretty low. Heat advisories are in effect right now for Los Angeles, Orange County, California, looking at highs 85 to 90 degrees. So why am I talking about that? Because the Super Bowl, of course, is Sunday in Los Angeles. Temperature is not quite as hot as it is right now, but temperatures are likely in the 60s and 70s for the big game. Mostly clear, calm and cool tonight. Uh, again, may start to see a little more cloud cover arriving later in the evening. Overnight lows anywhere between about 32 and 38. Three days zone by zone forecast showing the NRV being warmest on Friday, 56. Highlands, you're dry here Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Maybe a stray shower tonight. And across Lynchburg, you are looking at temperatures as warm as the lower 60s Friday and Saturday upper 30s though on Sunday and Monday. For the Roanoke Valley, your next best chance for precipitation will be on Super Bowl Sunday with a light rain snow mix possible. Please stay tuned to your local weather authority for the forecast for Sunday.